Hello, the purpose of today's video is to discuss the nature of radian. Radian is a measurement tool. It's how we measure rotations. You might be accustomed to measure rotations in degrees, but for various reasons, uh, it works out better, especially in calculus, uh, to measure your rotations in an alternative form. It's the same idea as measuring feet instead of measuring in meters. That's like measuring degrees instead of measuring in radians. They're both effective, it's just that one turns out to be more commonsensical than the other. So, to understand the nature of the definition of a radian, um, I'm going to move a rotation of one radian and see what just happened. And we're working on a unit circle uh, in this particular set of rotations, which means we define the length of the radius uh, to be one. So, in this case, the length of the radius is 1, and uh, a radian is essentially, if we were to stretch the radius around the arc of the circle, how far would I rotate to? So if we rotated 1 radian, then the length of this arc is 1 unit long. So really, this A represents arc length, which represents, in a unit circle, the length of your rotation. So we could see then what happens if we go with uh, 2 radians, and we can see one radius plus another radius stretched around the circle. That's uh, one radius here plus another radius there stretched around the circle. By the time we get to two radians, we've already um, stretched across uh, into the second quadrant. And uh, when we get to three radians, we're right here, which is almost halfway around. And uh, four radians, of course, sends us now into the third quadrant. And uh, by the time we get to, and I'll just jump right there to six radians, we've almost gone completely around the circle. So where degrees is a subdivision of a circle into 360 tiny little pieces, a radian is simply stretching the length of the radius around the circle, and we can only get six radians plus a smidge more. As a matter of fact, it would be about 6.28. As you can see, when I type in uh, 6.28 radians for the arc length, I get all the way around the circle. The reason this is logical <coughs> is because... This is a circle whose radius is one unit long, and the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter, or two times the diameter, or the radius, <laughs> I forgot how to write all of a sudden, two times the radius um, times pi. Since the radius is one, we can say that the circumference is going to be 2 pi, and since pi is about 3.14, if we double that, we get about 6.28, approximately. So, when working in radians, we suddenly discover that the circumference of a circle is, can help inform us as to where our radian rotations are going to be. So all we have to do is understand radians as a fraction of 6.28, and we'll have a really good sense of our, of our rotations. So once again, uh, when we talk about one radian, we can see that clearly then if we had fractions of radians, like a half a radian, that's going to be one half of a rotation of a full radius. So this is as long as half a radius, or one half of a unit long. And uh, <clears throat> we can do that for any fraction, so 0.77 radians. Calculators always give us radian measures in terms of decimals, so we should understand when we're working with radian measure that uh, we're just talking about fractions of radius, even 2.75 radians, um, or, well, that's a problem, 2.75 radians, as you can see, it's just two full radians, one, two, and then three quarters of a radian more. So if you can keep a mental sketch of where you are with one radian, two, three, where all these black points are represents whole units of radians, that will help you when you're working with radians in decimal form. Now, it turns out that it's possible to work with the actual dimensions of the unit circle um, to give us a better sense of um, uh, some more common angle rotations. For example, we have some uh, um, rotations like, let's see if I can do this, if we rotate from one, we can keep rotating and that takes us all the way to here which is hard to get to. Ooh, I'm struggling with that. Well here, how about using my knowledge? 1.57. 1.57 radians, 
will take me all the way up to this little quadrant up here, which is a nice place to be. That's what used to be called a 90 degree angle. Um, so instead of describing that as 1.57 radians, which is actually an estimate, we could understand that the whole distance around the circle is 2 pi, half the distance around the circle is pi, so a quarter distance around the circle is going to be um, pi over 2. So the length of this arc is about 1.57 radians, which is, exact, which is the approximation for taking pi, which is 3.14, and dividing it by 2. So if you're given radians in decimal form, that's one thing. Use your understanding of the relative length of the radius. But if you're given your radians in terms of relative... Um, I'm sorry, in terms of pi, as fractions and multiples of pi, then you can use um, rel you know, places around the circle. So I'll show you another example. We talk about um, pi over 6. Just thinking out loud here for a second. Is, um, uh, I'd have to look that. Oh, here, I'll just type it in directly. Pi over 6. Boom. Takes you right here. So pi over 6 is taking the pi, which is representing half a rotation around the circle, and cutting it into six equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. Six equal parts, so one-sixth of pi takes me right there. That's the equivalent to 30 degrees. If we had pi over 3, that's dividing the pi into one, two, oops, there's two, three equal slices. So that's pi over 3 right there. Um, so it's, it's going to be up to you then to familiarize yourself with all these important and critical parts around the circle. So, for example, we could do 3 pi over 4, that takes me right here, and, uh, and so forth. So, I've saved this particular uh, simulation, and um, I will send this out to everybody, and I encourage you to play around with it so you can familiarize yourself with radian measure. Um, once again, just to point out, you have uh, in this the capacity to work with purple points which represent the multiples and factors of pi around the unit circle, or you can work with the black points which are the decimal expressions of, of uh, radian measure um, depending on what you're, what you're working with. So, enjoy it!